All right. If you are having little anxiety, that is fear of a dentist. Then you need to get a cup of coffee and sit down and relax. Because I'm going to give you tips that are proven to help to overcome that fear. And you will enjoy your dental visits moving forward. But if you are not one of those people who fear a dentist, and you are like, really? Is that even a thing that there are actual people who fear a dentist? Yes, really, the fear of a dentist is real. If you may, let me show you some statistics. Fear of a dentist is said to be the third biggest fear of all others. It only comes after fear of public speaking and the fear for heights. In fact, according to research, anywhere between 50% to 80% of all American adults have some degree of dental anxiety, ranging from mild to severe. 20% of dentally anxious patients don't see a dentist regularly. And between 9 to 15% of all these anxious patients do not see a dentist altogether. And worldwide, surveys have put the figure of those who are dentally anxious or who fear a dentist at around 13 to 24 percent. So it is a fairly common fear. And everyone actually has their own reasons for fearing a dentist. But today I'm not talking about that. In this video, I'm going to give you seven things that you can do to overcome that fear of the dentist so that you can have your regular dental visits. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a bonus point. So wait for that bonus point. Number seven, carry along your favorite music. You know the kind that soothes you? Let's say something like, Okay, maybe that is not exactly so thing. How about this one? Hmm. Okay, and this one? Maybe I have not exactly played the soothing music that you are thinking about, but you get the point. So carry your music and then enjoy it during the appointment. This will keep you relaxed as your treatment is going. Alternatively, you can also carry your audiobook or listen to your favorite podcast. Number six, ask a lot of questions. Most people tend to fear the dentist because of the uncertainty that surrounds dental procedures. But you can actually alleviate this by asking questions and raising all your concerns and have them addressed. Even during the treatment, if you are feeling any discomfort, you should be able to voice your concern so that the discomfort is attended to. What you should know is that your dentist is there to help you. And even if you need a moment during the treatment, just let your dentist know. And this will go a long way into relieving your anxiety. Number five, let your dentist know. If you are nervous or if you are anxious, please communicate this to your dentist. Because your dentist probably has a lot of experience helping people just like you or even worse than you. So make sure that the dentist knows in time so that they can know exactly how to give you that special care that you need. Because ultimately, most dentists want to give you that special care that will make you comfortable and help you have a relaxed and enjoyable dental experience. Number four, please arrive early. But again, not too early. Because if you arrive too early, the anxiety might actually end up building up as you are waiting. But if you arrive just about the time, but slightly earlier, this will remove the anxiety which is caused by rushing for 
your appointment. But also, it allows you to soak in the anxiety slowly and then maybe by the time your turn is next, the anxiety could have easily calmed down. Arriving earlier also gives you a chance to ask some of your questions at the front desk and have them addressed. And this also will help you to relax. Number three, bring a friend. Ask a friend or a family member to join you during your appointment. Because having a friend or a family member nearby will help you to feel safer. And this in turn will help you to feel more relaxed. Number two. But before we go to number two, if you find any value in this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here and you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you hit that subscription button and smash that bell so that you get notified each time we upload a new video. So number two, use relaxation techniques. Ahead of your appointment, take time to get into the right mindset. You might actually find it useful to do some stretches, meditation, not necessarily doing the yoga, but just simple meditation and taking deep controlled breath. This will have a calming effect and it will actually significantly reduce your anxiety. Number one, find the right dentist. Yes, find a dentist who is friendly, who is caring, and one who has great reviews from current and previous clients. If you don't know where to get these reviews, ask Mr. Gogo. The Gogo is a good place to actually start looking for these reviews. The dentist must also be able to give simple answers to all of your questions using the language that you understand, not the medical terms that might confuse you. In addition to the dentist themselves, the dental office must be relaxing enough. Should you should have a relaxing environment with a television and soft music. Maybe something like this. Okay, maybe not that, but yes, some relaxing music. This will ultimately help you to calm down. The bonus point is this. If all these don't seem to calm your anxiety down, please ask your dentist. Please ask your dentist for a sedation option. And this will surely help you to go through all your dental procedures, including the complicated dental procedures without any anxiety. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.